Hey, welcome back. So one last thing to look at in the Arrhenius equation. So remember, the Arrhenius equation gives us a way to calculate the rate constant for a reaction, that probability factor that tells us how fast something will happen. And the exponential term is just this term here on the end. So what we have seen so far is that there is a minimum energy to react, the activation energy, and we need the molecules to collide with an energy greater than or equal to that activation energy in order for a reaction to take place. Now, let's see, molecules themselves don't all have the same kinetic energy, so they have a distribution of energies. And if we plot the number of molecules with a particular energy, we get a graph, and uh, we can calculate this equation. This is called the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. We can calculate what it looks like. And for a cold temperature, so for a cold temperature T1, this is what it looks like. So imagine we've got a minimum energy to react. So maybe we've got our activation energy right here, E sub A. What we can see is that this cold temperature, essentially the only molecules that can collide are the ones shaded there under the curve. And so that is the ones, or that probability is basically E to the minus E A over R T1. Now let's increase the temperature. And when you increase the temperature, just a small amount leads to quite a dramatic shift in this curve. So it always shifts to the right and uh, like so. So this is a hotter temperature. So this is T2. And we can see that the number of molecules now that have the minimum energy to react is much, much larger. And out here on the tail, we can see, you know, we've got maybe double the number of molecules that can react now. If this was, say, a 10 degree increase, that would seem about right. So this fraction here is essentially E to the minus EA over R. T2. So uh, we're looking at the molecules here that have this minimum energy to collide. You can see that most of the molecules actually don't have enough energy to collide. So uh, actually chemically reacting is like winning the lottery. Only maybe one in a billion molecules have enough energy to react normally. So, uh, but the fact that it is an exponential distribution here gives, makes this extremely sensitive to temperature. So again, to reiterate, the molecules themselves are moving faster as the temperature increases, but it's the fraction of the molecules that move with an energy greater than or equal to the activation energy we want to keep our eye upon. And so this tail of this curve here is really telling us the number of molecules that can collide and can react. And of course, not all reactions uh, or not all collisions will lead to a reaction. So they have to collide with a minimum energy and they also have to collide with the correct orientation.